Many people are calling this a mud flow, but technically what occurred on January 9th is referred to as a debris flow. A debris flow is basically a mud flow on steroids. The debris flow was a result of a combination of factors. In this case, we had the Thomas fire, which burned the watershed, which removed all the trees and vegetation that would normally hold the soil in place. Now, when you take that and add to it the intense rainfall that we had on January 9th, the combination of the denuded hillsides, the intense rainfall, and the gravity uh, led to the debris flow. And the further down the mountain it came, it accumulated into a big wave that when it reached the lower reaches, it started encountering man-made structures such as bridges and homes. And when that occurs, the debris flow either has enough power to blast right through those things or the uh, debris flow is diverted into other directions such as roadways and that takes it off in a completely different direction. The, the risk is still there and the risk will still be there for another three to five years. You can look up at the mountains and, and you can see these uh, rills and gullies that have been formed and, and so people need to keep aware of the weather forecast. But when the forecast is calling for rain and if you wait for the rain to come, it's going to be too late. You can't outrun these things and so you need to be out of the way of these things well in advance of before the rain starts.